Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. And as you see from the title above, we are going to talk about all the candles and wax that I used up during the month of January. I am filming this on January 23rd, so we're almost done with the month and I have failed miserably at filming videos regularly in 2024 already. I've only had one video up, which is a Goose Creek Candle Haul and still a great video, but I definitely have slacked. I feel like January is like catching up on things you didn't get to during the holidays and all sorts of things like that, where, I mean, I've been burning. I've been burning a lot of candles. Melting though, not a ton of melting. I definitely have lacked on the melting, but the burning of the candles has been the majority. And I feel like that happens. It's been cold. It's been snowy and there's nothing more after work that I want to do than come home, slip into my PJs, have some yummy dinner and watch TV. I've currently been watching Only Murders in the Building. I just finished that and now my friend and I are trying to find a new show to watch. But otherwise, I have been loving TV, loving just staying home and snuggly and I put a lot of time and work into my home, so I really like to just spend time here. And all the candles that I finished really proved how much I have been at home. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, starting with candles, then we'll go into the Scentsy, and then we'll go into the non-wax empties. The first thing I finished are the only, no, not the only Kringles, but almost all the only Kringles. I finished Juniper and Laurel. I finished two of the large two wick tumblers. I don't even need to speak on performance, perfection, all the way down. Their two wick formula performs so well for me. And this scent is so great. I feel like everybody has that special tree fragrance that you just love. Juniper and Laurel is one for me. Now, I do not like getting a ton of tree scents every year. I don't ever burn through them and I still have some tree scents in my stash for next year. However, this is my signature tree fragrance. I love the earthiness, but it has the sweetness from the juniper berry. I went through a three wick last month. I finished these two this month. It's just a perfect, perfect Christmas holiday fragrance. If you like tree fragrances, but like me, a lot of them can smell a little bit like cleaner, pine salt type of fragrances, this, is perfection every single time. So I finished these two Juniper and Laurels. And if this fragrance um, was in a sale like post holiday, I will definitely pick one up just to save for next year because I loved it so much. Next, we have Fireplace from Kringle. This was part of the Mercury Glass collection. And again, perfection all the way down. Never a problem with a Kringle candle burning. I loved this. This was smoky woodsy, fiery. It says notes of smoke, wood, spice, herbal, herbal, amber, and vetiver. And this did, this just smelled like a warm, roaring campfire. I absolutely loved it. I would totally repurchase this one. Love the jar. Now, this isn't a true mercury glass. It's more of a painted glass that's like a speckled. However, whenever it burned, the jar itself is translucent and the whole thing just was glowing. It was beautiful, the whole entire burn. So I really enjoyed that. And pairing with this, I was burning Bath & Body Works Fireside Candles. I finished two of those. And the notes on Fireside are smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. This is my favorite smoky fragrance from Bath & Body Works. Both did not perform the best, but oh, I don't know. I love it though. It smells so great. And this actually is a very quintessential fragrance for me. And it holds a lot of memory. Something that I think is so magical about fragrance is the memories that it holds on to. And this in particular, for example, one of my friends growing up, they had this room spray in their bathroom. And every time I went in there and sprayed that room spray, it literally smells just like this. I mean, it smelled just like a campfire. I love this. This is more fresh campfire where the uh, Kringle candle is more smoky. I love this fireside though. This is one I will buy every year. I had it in a wallflower in my bathroom this year. It's just great. 
It's a fragrance I can never get tired of. Next, I finished a hot cocoa and cream candle from this year as the plaid packaging. This one futzed out pretty quickly. There was still a good amount of wax, but it just stopped burning. I love hot cocoa and cream. It smells just like a Swiss Miss chocolate. And I'll be honest, like chocolate fragrances are not my number one. They're not fragrances that I typically gravitate towards, but hot cocoa and cream from Bath & Body Works is just one that hits every time. Decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. I love. So great. If you like a hot cocoa fragrance, definitely hot cocoa and cream you can never go wrong with. Next, I finished Frosted Cranberry. Now, if I had to choose between Frosted Cranberry and the old version of Cranberry Woods, I would pick Cranberry Woods, but it does not smell like that anymore. These almost smell identical now. Iced Cranberries, Blonde Woods, Red Apples, and Tonka Bean. It's a nice cranberry. It just isn't smoky for me. And obviously the frosted cranberry isn't supposed to be, but I would like more of those blonde woods and tonka bean to come out in it. It was an okay throw. It of course futzed out during the halfway mark where the flames got super small, which equaled a lot less throw. But frosted cranberry is a good scent. This guy, perfection from top to bottom. I was shocked. Crunchy English toffee from the storybook collection this year. Sweet brown sugar, crunchy toffee, and a dash of vanilla extract, completely down. I love this. This is creamy. This is milky. This is like a salty caramel fragrance. And let me tell you, from the first burn to the last burn, this performed so well for me. I was so shocked. I love this. This did not come out in a wallflower or anything this year, literally just this candle. I would totally buy wallflowers in this if next year it came out in it. I loved it. And I hope that it performs like this every year because it performed so well. Love. Definitely would repurchase that. And the last Bath & Body Works candle is Spiced Gingerbread. This is okay. Vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. I definitely prefer Spiced Gingerbread over the Jolly... Oh, no. The gingerbread bakery that was in a single wick. I definitely prefer this. This is more of a gingerbread cookie. Oh, it's so yummy. It's it's rich. It's molassesy. It's cinnamony. It's all the things that you would want in a gingerbread cookie with icing. It didn't have the best throw. I wish it was a little stronger, but I finished that one up. Speaking of stronger, I finished from Yankee Candle Sparkling Winterberry, right? Sparkling Winterberry, no throw. The candle burned amazing. Like, look at that. Completely clean. I did use an Alumalib. I burned this entire candle in my office and could never smell it. Not a one. It burned great. So for a 22 ounce unscented candle, it performed well, but there was no throw. Next, I finished from my friends at 1820 Company, Moody Fig. I love this. Her candles are 100% plant wax. I love this. This was an earthy, rich, deep, fig fragrance and I burned this in my bedroom. I think fig scents are great in the kitchen and the bedroom. They just invite you in. It's warm, a little smoky, a little fresh, a little sweet. Love and Moody Fig is definitely a winner. Oh, it was great and her candles burn so well and I love supporting a small business when I can. So I always have a stack of her candles in my collection. Speaking of small business, I finished a couple candles from Matt Matthews. He was actually just on Kelly Clarkson, which was super exciting. And he's going on a comedy tour, so definitely check him out. I love his candles. He is a TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. He's hilarious. He makes farm chores videos. He owns a farm. He's a boudoir photographer and makes kick-ass candles, if I do say so myself. This one is Grateful AF Ultimate Pumpkin Pie. This was fantastic. There's no parabens, no sulfates. Obviously, it's a, it's a candle, but um, all natural soy candles, hand poured in Birmingham, Alabama. There's always clean fragrance oils, no colorants, nothing like that. His candles always burn super clean and strong every single time. It's a little bit bigger than a Bath & Body Works 3-Wick candle, but they perform so well. And this Ultimate Pumpkin Pie was like a rich, creamy pumpkin pie fragrance, but the crust in this. The crust note in this pumpkin pie candle was perfection. Absolutely love it. Would always repurchase that. Really yummy. And then I actually finished 
two of this set. I finished one in his little baby size that they do for the new fragrance launches and then in the three wick and it is the snuggle is real mulled wine. This was great. I burned this entire candle in my bedroom and every night when I lit this, it was just, it smelled great. It was smoky. It was warm. The mulled wine scent, so great. If you like fruity, if you like rich and deep fragrances, definitely check this one out. Really great. Again, if you like fruity fragrances for the winter, mulled wine was great. And even his little baby candles burned down completely. And like these are actually pretty strong. I'm working on his smoke and sage candle now, which is really, really great. All right, now let's move into the luxury candles. I finished four. One, Fulcon, which is Snowflake from Diptyque. This burned pretty dirty and honestly just smelled like laundry detergent. One thing with um, luxury candles though, size difference. When you burn a candle like this, it really throws in a room. Like even in a living room, like you will get performance from a small candle like this versus a giant candle that's not like obviously a luxury candle. This is like $84, but I love our, my luxury candles. I'm definitely investing more in them this year. I have a great collection. I have a new brand that I have fallen head over heels in love with, um, True Dawn. They were founded in 1643 and actually created candles for royalty. Survived the French Revolution and I can see why. I visited their store in New York City last month and I mean literal perfection. So anyway, uh, last month, last week, I literally was in New York last week. Anyway, this is a great candle if you like clean and fresh. Uh, if I had to recommend a diptyque this week, they don't make this one anymore, but this is Athaniel Rose. This was perfection. This was smoky rose. I know a lot of people don't love rose fragrances. I absolutely love them. And this is not dirty. This is how the jar is. It looks like all these like specks, it burned completely down, not a drop left. I burned this in my dining room and literally went into the living room and the kitchen and the bathroom. It literally filled up this entire space, but didn't overwhelm where I felt choked out. It was just the right amount. This was amazing. I would totally repurchase this if you like spicy rose fragrances. Now, I love the House of Byredo, but their candles just don't burn the best for me. I actually had to use an Illumilid on it. The wick traveled and with a solid black wax, Black wax always gives me issues and it's no different with this, but the scent is so great. Burning rose literally smells like a fresh rose that's on fire, not burnt, like currently burning, like woodsy and rich and deep fiery rose. I would repurchase this every time, despite the burn being very dirty and having to use an Illumilid or a Hurricane because I just love the fragrance that much. I, I love this. If you like smoky fragrances, try Burning Rose. And then the last candle, easily the highlight. I have to focus more on this brand this year. Breakfast Leipzig from Dies & Durga. Dies & Durga is a New York-based perfume and candle company. I actually just purchased a peanut perfume from them. I have a pistachio perfume. They have a pasta water candle. They have such incredible candles, but this candle, Breakfast Leipzig. Perfection. This is supposed to be like a coffee shop in Germany, uh, in Leipzig. So we have coffee, pastries, like almond pastries, leather armchairs, cigars. You're literally capturing all the elements of a coffee shop in this fragrance and it sings when you light it. Let me tell you, this little tiny candle I had to have lit at least 30 times in its little lifetime. This lasted forever. Perfection. I think these are $70, but let me tell you, every time I burned it, it was it was glorious and filled up the whole space. And let me tell you, if you like those like coffee fragrances, but you're sick of artificial coffee scents, this is it. This truly smelled every time I walked into the room that this was burning, like a coffee shop, like a true coffee shop. I felt instantly like I was transported to Germany to this coffee shop and I can imagine this is exactly what it smelled like. The leather armchairs, the coffee, the pastry, the cigars, like you literally have everything encapsulated in this fragrance 
And this candle right here is why I love fragrances so much. It transports you, it makes you happy, it puts you in a better mood. And I'm sorry, but a $20 candle you get at the grocery, not the grocery store, but like a, a candle you get at the store on sale does not give you that same effect. It just does not. These candles are made by master perfumers. They are incredible fragrances. And Dia Senderga, like I said, is a New York-based company. Loves supporting New York, obviously. And this is just great. So I finished that. Now on to the Scentsy. I did not finish a lot of Scentsy. We're just gonna do this kind of rapid fire. I have two bars of Silver Bells. I love the way this smells, but I didn't get any throw. Super sad. It's like pear and mint. Great scent, didn't get much throw. This, I was debating if I wanna remove it from my club and it is getting the boot, Rustic Lodge. I just don't get performance from it. I had it in my open concept. When I say open concept, my dining room, living room, kitchen area. So like my three big open areas and I didn't get anything from it. Barely, barely a smoky scent. So it's being removed from my club. This one, always great around the campfire. I love this fragrance. It's smoky, warm, a little bit of marshmallow, like a toasted marshmallow. And it's so funny to me because a lot of people are like, oh, this is so, so smoky. Like I have a lot of customers who get this and they're like, oh, I can't melt this. This is way too smoky for me. But to me, it's great. It's exactly what I would want it to be. The right amount of smoke, the right amount of sweetness from the marshmallow. Mm, I absolutely love it. Frosted Ginger Cookie. This is in the Bring Back My Bar currently through January. I now get Fruit Loops. I never did until I saw somebody talk about it on YouTube. And now that's all I get from it. Like a Fruit Loop cookie. It has amazing throw, but I can't get over the Fruit Loop cookie. I finished Cinnamon. Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, if you're watching this, you had me cracking up. Because when you hauled this, you were like, who voted for this? Nobody, Melanie. Nobody voted for it. Dan Orchard, our interim CEO, picked five bars of his own to add to the club. And they're the ones that are getting no love. I mean, lots of lavender. Everybody says has no throw and it barely smells like lavender. This is disgusting. Like, it's just so funny. This, oh, if you like cinnamon and you like peppermint and you're like, why are they not together? Dry this. It is so strong. It went for days in my warmers. I finally had to say, I can't, I have to waste the wax and throw it away because it was gross. Next, I finished Disney Season of Magic. Sad news, all the license bars are going up an extra 50 cents. So there'll be a dollar more starting in March. And for an, a dollar extra, it's just not worth it. This is a good scent. It's like a Christmas tree with a little bit of fruit, but I would never be like, oh yes, I'm willing to pay a dollar more for this fragrance. So not for me. I finished Red Current Wreath, which is a new fragrance in the catalog. This is nice. If you like those current fragrances, those like really rich, warm berries, try this. It also smelled a little craft story. And then I finished a brick in Orange Spice and Everything Nice. I'm in the minority here. I love these Christmas tree bricks. I love the little cubes that you can actually fit in your smaller warmers without having to cut it. Less cutting, the better. And this was an okay scent. If you like orange fragrances, this is like a spiced orange tea with a hint of like an outdoorsy uh, iciness. And it was nice, definitely not club worthy. Nothing that I melted today was club or this month was club worthy. But if you like like orange spice fragrances, this is great. Woo! I just had to get through that. Uh, this is my third time filming this video. My laptop and everything was messing up. So I hope this one saved. Let me know what you guys have been melting or burning or getting through. I hope you guys are having a great rest, uh, beginning of your year. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.